everyone, it's Tammy and I have a Hobby Lobby haul. I'm super excited to show you guys this. I am in a no spend November, but I luckily bought this October 27th, no, October 28th. So I made it in and just in the nick of time. And um, thanks to Tanya, I went because I wasn't going to go. I was trying to be super good. And she said, oh, you should go because some of their stuff is 50% off. And I'm not sure where I'm supposed to look. I think here. So sorry about that. I cannot find my regular. <laughs> I, It's a mess. I don't even. I said in an earlier video today that I can't find my tripod. I have no idea what I do with it. It's insane. I know it's here somewhere. But where? Not sure. So, let's see. A lot of stuff was 50% off. And I was able to use my... I think I... No, this was on sale too. Okay, so the first thing I got was this Krylon Glitter. It is a shimmer glitter. And it says, do it yourself, craft foam, craft foam safe. And it's part of the DIY series. And I know that... Tanya uses some of this, and I don't know if it's the same brand, but she uses some sort of glitter spray, which is probably more scrapbooky, more what you're supposed to use, and I'm using something that is going to tear up my stuff. I hope not, but maybe. Um, I don't know. The lighting when I try to tape myself seems so weird. So I am going to try this, but I think it will be cool to give things just a shimmery shimmer. A shimmery shimmer. That's the official word. Okay, so I bought a ton of stickers and such. I don't know what order this is in. It's just in the order that she gave it to me in. So I'm just going to get started. I got these. I thought these were really cute. They are pretty little red birds, cardinals. Um, they were in the 40% off, I think. And all of the Christmas stuff was either 40 or 50% off. I think I already have this one or I have had it before. But it's just really cute. I love the stamp. Like, I know I've used some of these, so I either have them and or have had them and used them already. So it could be one of two things. I've either, I know I've had them, so I either still have some or don't. But either way, I have some now. And I thought these were really cute. These are just little buttons. I was actually going to use these on a couple of Christmas uh, pocket letters that I just did and mailed off. I totally forgot that I needed to do this haul. That's how much I need things. I really don't. So that's part of why I'm doing the No Spin November. I really don't need anything else. I mean, I have so much stuff, but I did the pocket letters. When I bought this stuff, I thought, oh, this will be good for pocket letters. And I knew that there were two that I wanted to get mailed out. And I did them without needing them. So clearly, I don't need as much stuff as I have. These are really cute. I love this penguin here. I thought this might be cute on a planner spread or something like that. The penguins are just adorable. So that's why I got that one. These were 50% off and they're cute little llamas. Just really cute. And happy holidays with Santa and elf and a reindeer. So I will have to make some more pocket letters, I think. Um, here's a New Year's Eve one. I thought this would be really cute at um, New Year's Eve in my planner. And that last one says, Kiss Me at Midnight. And then Happy New Year. And then that banner says New Year. So it's really cute. I like the gold and the black, which are not two of my favorite colors, honestly, because together that is for a rival team to my alma mater, which is Purdue. My alma mater is IU. So they're gold and black. So normally I don't like gold and black, but I do like them together for New Year's. So here is a cute woodland one that I got. I picked this up because I just thought it was adorable with these, I don't know, holographic kind of looking stickers. I thought it was super cute. And then there's my hedgy hog. So adorable. And I actually picked up two of these because one was supposed to go to one of my friends mailed her stuff didn't send it sorry about that I guess she'll never know <laughs> until she watches this and then might think oh was that for me oh well um I think I did pretty well with all of the other stuff so I think I'm okay with what I sent to my friends I hope so anyway but 
Um, this one's really cute with the hedgehog and the fox. I loved this one, so I picked up that one. I thought this one might be cute for my adventures at the ocean. I love that whale. So these are $2.49 with 50% off. So they were $1.25 for all those stickers. So not too bad. And here is another Chris, or Christmas Halloween set. Even though I knew that I wouldn't use them this year, I thought that they were too cute to pass up. I really like those. So I got those too. I'm trying to put things in different areas so when I put them away, it'll be easier. I also picked up this, which I thought would be cute for pocket letters and or a mini album. It's Woodland Wonderland, and it has just really cute um, uh, scrapbook pages, and there's a ton in here. 48 sheets, 16 designs, three of each. So, and it was $6.99, but then it was like 50% off of that. So it really, these are really very well priced. And they are, these, this is a six by six pack, which is probably the smallest pack that I would use to make a mini album. I don't think I'd want to get any smaller than six by six. Well, that's not true. Never mind, scratch that. Scratch that, because that's totally not true. So I'm not going to go through all of them, but, well, heck, maybe I will. Here is the Ho Ho Ho. I don't know if it's like one. Okay, so there's three of those. Then there's wood. Then there's this one that's really cute with the different varmints and the hedgy. And a little pattern. And another Christmas pattern. That one's cute. All the critters. And there's a reindeer. And there's some birdies. And this one doesn't say anything. It looks like Woodstock's <laughs> scratches. Some trees, some Santies, some kind of burlapy. This one has an owl and a bird and some presents. This one has hollies. And that one has poinsettias. So that's just about all of them, but I thought they were really cute. Of course, you know me and the woods and the critters. So. I was all about that piece of paper telling me to get some frames done no thank you then I got this glitter I thought these would be fun to make some glitter bows or whatnot they were each a dollar ninety nine but they were on sale for half off so I paid a dollar a sheet and I got this kind of a light lilac and then a gold and then a teal color I thought those were pretty to make little whatever as I decide. Oh yeah, I got this. I got two of these. These were on sale for half off of $8. So for $4, what did I get? 12 pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven different things. No, it looks like it's 12 different things. Well, let me just open it and show you. So there's, I mean, you can frame these. These are eight and a half by, or eight by 11, eight, what are they? Eight and a half by 11. You can get a frame and frame them. You make the world a better place. Isn't that cute? You're my favorite girl. You know who that needs to go to. And this is the alphabet, but then I Love You is in gold foil. And here's a heart made out of flowers. And this says sweet as sugar. And I love this giraffe. I am loved. And then this is just a flowery page. And this one's for my girl, Elephant. I thought that was adorable. And this one says, you're my sunshine.
And here's a hippopotamus. Isn't that cute? And then finally, love you to the moon and beyond. So I thought that these were really great. I know that my girl will love some of these. Um, I don't know exactly how to use them. I mean, I, I could just frame them and call it done, but it seems like there needs to be a little more creativity in there. So I don't know. I got the baby girl and the baby boy set. So I'll show you the baby boy set too. Although I don't think they're for babies at all. Although it would be cute in a nursery, I suppose. Goodness, they're like stuck together somehow. Whew, the struggle. So then I have the baby boy page, which is a little bit like the baby girl one. <laughs> has some cutes on it if I can open it. Crazy. Okay, so it says you're my greatest adventure or you're our greatest adventure. And then it has this just plain sheet. And it has this one that says explore. You make the world a better place. <laughs> a monkey. <laughs> I love that one. And it says, I am loved. And a cute tiger with glasses on. And this has the I love you again in foil. This is just in blue instead of in pink. Or maybe it's gray. Up, up, and away. Cute elephant. Isn't that cute with a bow tie? And sweet dreams, little man. And you're my favorite guy. So super cute. I love them both. I love having one of each kid. It's kind of neat. I think that they will appreciate some of this. Um, yeah, I don't know how, again, I'm going to present them to them. And I don't know that all of, I mean, I don't know. Here's 12 things for you to hang up in your room. I, I won't do that. But I don't know. I might do one and then you know, send another one and say, send another one to college and say, you know, change that one out with this one now or something like that. I don't know. Okay, so there's those two. And then I got this. It's the 12 Days of Christmas paper crafting kit. And I don't know exactly what it's going to do, but I love this plaid and that car. I love that whole thing. So it has... 10 pieces of 12 by 12, one cardstock sticker sheet, one chipboard sheet, 20 die cuts, and so this is what it looks like. It has these papers, it has these stickers, and then it has these die cuts. So I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to make with this, but I just thought that it would be really cute. And each one of these has the 12 days of Christmas, like the Four calling birds, five golden rings, seven swans, a swimming, you know, whatever. All of those things. So that's why it's the 12 days of Christmas, I suppose. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I thought it was really cute. I loved the car. And this was $8.99, 50% off. So that came up to, what, $4.50? So not bad. I need a drink. Ooh, I'm drinking my orange juice because it's getting to be that time of year. Then I got this kit, which was also $9.99 plus 50% off. And it is, um, actually, you know what? 
This was the one that wasn't 50% off, and who can tell? I mean, they're all kits, and they're all hanging in the same spot, but whatever. They said this one wasn't 50% off, so I used my 40% off coupon for this. I don't know. It's not a big deal. It was just weird. This one has 12 sheets of double-sided 12 by 12 sheet uh, paper, two sheets of 12 by 12 stickers, one element, and one alpha. So it has all of this stuff. Um, these are the different papers that it has. And then this is the sticker sheet. And I just thought it was adorable. And I thought it would be fun to do, use some of our vacation. Um, this reminded me that my husband did a slingshot thing. It was crazy. There was a, there was one of these too, a Ferris wheel. I need vitamin C. I think that's cute. So that's what I got that one for. And then I also got a pack of the heavy duty cardstock um, in black and it was $8.99. So half of that was $4.50 and it has 25, no, it has 50 sheets in here. So this is a really good deal. I know that I sell Stampin' Up and I still swear by Stampin' Up paper, but on these mini albums that I make, I can tell you that I go through a ton, a ton, a ton of paper and it does get to be a little expensive when you're using your Stampin' Up stuff. So I have found that the heavy duty um, stuff at Hobby Lobby is fairly decent, especially, and it's perfect for the mini albums. Now I don't use it for my pages of the mini albums, but I use it for the actual binding and all of that because it's just, if I'm going to put a decorative page over it, I don't mind if it's this. So that's what that is. Then I have one more bag. And, oh, I got some paper. Oh, I forgot about these. I got some Bob's candy canes. I don't know if you guys are candy cane snobs, but I am. I love Bob's brand candy canes, and they're not easy to find anymore. My dad's name was Bob, and my uncle's name was is Ed. And my Uncle Ed used to tease my dad all the time when they were kids, saying, why don't they have Eddie socks or Eddie candy canes or whatever. So um, Bob's was always the brand that we got when we could get Bobby socks or Bobby pins or whatever. And um, I don't know, I grew up with Bob's candy canes and I love them. So I got myself a pack of the, these are just 60 peppermint candies. They're just the miniature ones. But um, these would even be great for pocket letters now that I'm thinking about it. And who doesn't like a peppermint every once in a while? So they're kind of nice to have around. They were $3.29. I would have paid double for it because it's just the nostalgia and the fact that it's Bob's candy canes. Although I do say that they are the best. Then like the big candy canes of the Bob's candy canes. Um, first of all, the peppermint is really good. You know how sometimes some of the peppermint is a little weird tasting. But you can take the hook of the candy cane and suck on that for a long time without it breaking where a lot of candy canes you can't do that they will break so hmm, Bob's candy canes it's where it's at and okay so that's all besides these two packs of paper and these are some hefty packs of paper so let's see these are this one is called the shop on the square and it's from the paper studio there's 60 sheets and Three of each design, 20 designs. I don't think that they are double-sided. I think that they are just single-sided. Let me pull off the tape. And they are just so pretty. I knew that I would use these colors. It's like pink and uh, gold and white and like beigey colors. It's like just very girly, very pretty. Goodness gracious, this tape on the sides that they do, it kills me. I have no idea. I mean, I guess I understand and I get it. How else are they supposed to do it? I don't know. I don't have a better solution, but I understand why they do it. Okay, so I'm not going to go through all of them, but you can see how pretty this is. And some of them are foiled like this one. Pineapples, boiled. Ooh, I'm going kind of fast on some of that. 
Oh, little fox that are foiled. Feathers. That's a pretty pattern. Some dots, some chevron, some leopard print. There's just a pattern with the pink. Here's the beige and the pink. So yeah, that's it. But isn't it pretty? There's just all sorts of different patterns and just very pretty. I think I'll like that one a lot. And then I got one called the Blue Barn and this is so my style. I don't know what style this is. I'm not exactly sure. I remember one time my sister, my ex-sister-in-law asked me what my like what kind of furniture and stuff I liked. I really, I had no idea then. I really still have no idea. Because I can like just about anything. Like, if I saw, I don't know, something antique and gorgeous in your house, I might really like it. But that doesn't necessarily mean that that's what I'd want in my house. So, but I can appreciate just about any style. Um, but I think if I had to pick a style for myself, it's really hard. I like like the fall colors in my house and I like feeling warm and I guess that the barn or the cabin kind of feel does make me feel that way. So I guess if I had to say, I would say that, but I can't tell you that that's how I'm decorated. I don't even know how I'm decorated. It's a mess. I have the hot mess decoration going on. So anyway, this is the blue barn and here's all the fun chickens oh my word so this is even kind of coated like in a waxy feel let's see what do we have here we have checks of course we have those are like little dinner you could use that on your planner these are little blue flowers oh that's pretty green checks this looks like marble. <laughs> little piggies. Hi, little piggies. I used to own a pig. <laughs> Random fact. And it wasn't really mine. It was my uncle's, but I was staying at his farm, and he told me that I could have it, and I really thought that I could take it home and live in the basement. Little roses. Needless to say, it never made it to my house. But I was heartbroken because I really thought that it was mine. This reminds me a little bit of the Stampin' Up! paper that's um, in the... Oh, there's the chickens! I need to send her a cow, a cow package. Here's a cow. <laughs> oh, I cracked myself up. I snorted. <laughs> send her a cow package. <laughs> That probably wouldn't be very good. It wouldn't smell very good. I don't think anybody would appreciate that. Barn floor. That one's kind of bright. I'm not sure I like that one as much as the others, but okay, so that's it. So I got two big paper packs. They are each $10 on sale for half off. So you really can't beat it. So I wouldn't buy, if I, if my advice to you with Hobby Lobby is not to buy anything that's not on sale because they will have a sale and they know how to have sales. They make things 50% off and it's just wonderful. And then also, um, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Whew. You can use your 40% off coupon if you, if they aren't on sale. So do that too. So I guess that's everything. Thank you so very much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.